Well, hello there. Happy Memorial Day weekend, everybody. Welcome to a quick pop-in edition of Maryland's Cafe Society radio show on YouTube on this Saturday, May 25th, 2019. It's the 145th day of the year. Wow, time's just flying by. But that's all right. <laughs> At least we're here to enjoy it. So listen, um, again, just a quick pop in because it is the holiday weekend. I don't know about you, but my day has been so busy, so busy today. And that's why the show is a bit delayed in terms of getting posted to YouTube. But, you know, that's how it is on the holiday weekends. Just so much running around to do. Of course, I had to check in on my day job um, as well earlier today. And and then um, I got um, uh, caught up on a telephone call that was very interesting and I'll be sharing more about that telephone call hopefully um, in, in the coming weeks so uh, I know uh, why I talk about it if I'm not going to say anything more about it but uh, that tied up uh, some of my time as well just a delightful conversation and uh, I'll share more later on all right, so um, as I'm kind of in between um, points in, in my running around, I just wanted to stop to check in and, of course, to share on this day in history. Um, on this day in history in 1935, an event remembered as the greatest 45 minutes ever in sports happened. It was the greatest and most famous track star, track and field star, Jesse Owens. He equaled or broke four world records in 45 minutes at a Big Ten meet in Ann Arbor, Michigan. That's right. And of course, he went on to become uh, an Olympian in the 1936 Olympic Games in Berlin, Germany, winning four gold medals. Now, that happened in 1935. Um, on this day in history in 1986. Do you guys remember this? I remember. Listen, I had to do some digging and some research to spark my memory because the name of this event sounded so familiar. And once I read up on it, it jarred my memory. And yes, 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 I do remember this. In 1986, six and a half million people across America from coast to coast, that's from California to New York, held hands. The history-making event was called Hands Across America. You remember that? Where were you? Did you participate? I was trying to remember if I participated because on that day in 1986, it was a Sunday. And I bet you if Chicago participated, and I'm sure they did, I was up in the mix somewhere, some way, somehow. But anyway... Um, all kinds of celebrities participated in this Hands Across America event. And of course, the purpose was to um, raise money and awareness uh, for organizations that were fighting homelessness and hunger. It was a big deal. Of course, we know this was right around the time that the We Are the World song and movement became very um, popular and of course they were fighting AIDS and the person who was responsible for these key history making events here in America is Ken Cragen and of course um, he's still with us still uh, doing um, his work in terms of, of trying to better the world and um, get people involved and and the various um, uh, causes for social change and uh, yeah, I, I remember that just like it was, well, now I remember it just like it was yesterday, but I had to think back initially when I saw this pop up and do a little checking and research. I also found out that the Jordan Peele movie, Us, which I haven't seen it, I'm such a chicken, <laughs> but um, I, I'll get there eventually, but he references this hands across America event that happened in 1986 in his film. Um, and some people think that it's um, not a very um, positive reference and others think you know it was it was a nice nod to the event. but nevertheless, if you've seen us or uh, you plan to go see it, just look for that reference in the film. 
All right, so uh, that's on this day in history. Uh, real quick in business news, we're just gonna look at um, the stock market. There was an article that caught my attention and I talked about this maybe five, six years ago when um, it made news again. But uh, here's the headline, CEOs get $100,000 in a raise, leaving workers further behind. This made news, like I said, maybe five or six years ago, and we talked about it and, you know, whether or not it was fair for the CEOs to get um, these big raises and um, while they're cutting, you know, the, the folks on, lower on the food chain, um, either cutting the jobs or not giving pay increases and, and vice versa. But I'll, I'll save that for another time. I don't feel like talking about it right now. Um, so we'll just jump into the stock market and what's happening. Well, the Dow is up plus 95.22. Um, S&P 500 is up $3.82. And the NASDAQ is up plus 8.72. Stocks that are doing good include Total System Services. They're up $13.83. Decker's Outdoors is up $6.05. They make the UGG footwear, by the way. Um, let's see. HP is up $0.85. Cents. Those that are not doing so well is Foot Locker. They're down $8.43. And Autodesk Inc. is down $8.32. Now, on the oil... Um, in the oil industry, um, they are doing well. They're up 72 cents to $58.63. And gold, they're down $1.80. Um, that number is $1,283.60. And the euro is hanging in there still just a fraction of a penny up. All right, and um, then in terms of our entertainment news, well, not much has happened because, listen, um, one of my, I'll call it a virtual mentor, <laughs> um, challenged me and, and many others to do, go the week starting this past Wednesday, to go the rest of the week into next Wednesday having a news fast. Now that was quite a challenge because of what I do, right? The work that I do requires me to stay up and um, informed on what's um, happening in news, particularly business news and entertainment news. So it was quite a challenge, but listen, I managed to do it. Now my plan was to spend some time reading um, a book and I found myself so busy doing other things, I haven't had an opportunity to even do that um, and uh, finish an online course that I'm taking. But I tell you, it has been um, a bit relaxing, not being, not feeling the pressure of having to, um, to uh, always be tuned in to the news and and reading the newspaper and knowing what's going on. But I do want to say congratulations to the new, newly inducted mayor of the city of Chicago, Lori Lightfoot, of course, is now the mayor of the city of Chicago. And they're saying that this particular weekend is going to be um, a big weekend for her because of the history of, of um, you know, crime going up during Memorial Day weekend in the city of Chicago. But anyway, congratulations. She was just installed um, earlier in this past week. And uh, we wish her the best being the first African-American woman and the first openly gay woman to serve and sit in that high-ranking position. Um, but anyway, back to, you know, the news fast and, and everything else. It was hard. Uh, as a matter of fact, last night, not even thinking as I'm going through my routine and, and doing things, I hit the the television remote and turned the television on and the news popped on. I caught like the first few um, teasers of the news story and they talked about a tornado, a series of tornadoes that hit the, the Midwest and I was locked in from that point on. But anyway, I'm going to try to continue to um, get through uh, the, the rest of these next few days uh, through Wednesday. That would complete the full week. 
of no news, a news fast. It's hard, I tell you, it's hard. Um, but I, I have caught some television shows, and um, one of them being the NBA games. Yes, did you see the Golden State win? I tell you, it it was such a treat to see those Curry brothers playing against each other, and then um, obviously everybody knew. Um, it's, some folks are saying when Golden State beat Houston, everybody knew that Golden State was going to clinch um, the conference title, the Western Conference title, and of course they did. But um, uh, the um, Portland Trail Blazers surely gave them. Uh, a run for their money in that effort and now tonight I guess this evening we're going to de de it could determine whether or not Toronto will go ahead and clinch the Eastern Conference division against the Milwaukee Bucks uh, they they made a strong comeback because things weren't looking so well for them wait a minute will they make will they clinch tonight I'm trying to think the series. I know there's seven games. Yeah. No, if they win tonight, I think it will go to seven games on Monday. They'll fight for seven games anyway. The game is tonight. So I'll be tuned in, um, probably doing some other things, but also uh, multitasking and trying to keep an eye on what's happening in that game okay and so um yeah i said all of that to say that there's no entertainment news either because i've in an effort to stay away from news in general i've just missed all of that all right so okay i i just want to uh say to all who have lost loved ones who serve this country who who passed or lost their lives serving this country um, our hearts and thoughts are with you on this Memorial Day weekend and certainly on Monday um, of course we know that memorials the purpose of Memorial Day was was to honor and recognize and remember those who've lost their life serving and protecting this country all right so um, of course civilians have taken it on as a day to also remember those who are near and dear to our hearts as well so again just want to send thoughts and prayers to anyone who's going to be doing any um, memorials on Memorial Day okay and I think that's it I just want to remind you guys you can find me on social media on Twitter at Maryland's Cafe Social on Facebook at Maryland's Cafe Society and on um, YouTube right here at Maryland's Cafe Society and you can also check out the website Maryland's Cafe Society be sure to like subscribe follow share and friend and all that good stuff and let's tell you what love is on today love is like nothing you've ever experienced and love is again um, going out to all of those who are remembering loved ones on this Memorial Day. Remember everybody, if you don't do anything else for the rest of the week, be sure that you live, you laugh, and you love. As always, it's a pleasure and a privilege to come to you on this YouTube channel, and we'll do it all over again next Saturday, right here on Maryland's Cafe Society on YouTube. Peace.